Hey guys, in this video, um, I'm going to show you a couple of cases when you want to weld in design space. Um, I keep seeing people say that you need to weld and then you need to slice when really all you need to do is attach. And um, I have a video on that. I believe it is attach instead of slice. And that's in the um, the Cricut Design Space 3 How To playlist, um, where this one's going to be. So you might want to look for that. But in this video, I'm going to show you um, a couple scenarios when you would weld. Instead of um, welding and slicing and attaching and all that. Okay, so first thing is script font. Um, when you have a script font, the letters are meant to be touching. Of course, these are not, and the I is not, but these should be touching. Um, if you're not going to have them touching, then don't use a script font because, I mean, it looks funny. <laughs> Sorry, but it does. Okay, so as you know, when you type things out in Design Space, they're spread out. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can, you know, remedy that. Some people use a different program to type out their words and then they bring it into Design Space, um, but you can fix it in Design Space. So the first thing you want to do is go to your letter spacing. I usually start by typing in a zero there and hit enter. And if that doesn't bring them close enough, then I'll hit the arrow. Um, now, as you can see, these are touching and those look good, now, but the W is way over here. So in that case, what you need to do is ungroup them. And then you can click on the W and bring it over until it's touching and maybe a little bit more. And then you can select these and um, go to align and align bottom to make sure that they're all, you know, even again. And then you can group those back if you want to. Um, once you get everything touching, um, then that's when you want to select and weld. Now, remember, when you weld um, and you go and you make, you know, 25 other things over here, you cannot unweld this unless you undo, which means you're going to undo all these 25 first and then undo this. Normally what I will do um, if I'm working in design space, which if you know me is very rarely, I do everything in Inkscape. But if for some reason I am, um, I will type out my text and I'll duplicate it and then I'll put it off to the side somewhere for later. Just in case I decide, well, I want weld to be underneath do I. Uh, I can't really do that without a lot of extra work. So then I go ahead and I go grab this extra text that I had, okay? Um, so weld your script fonts, number one, okay? Now, another scenario where you would use weld is when you want to take more than one object, whether it be text, whether it be shapes, um, you know, an image, whatever, and you want to combine those and make them one. So here, if you look in the control panel, I have three objects, one, two, three, okay? Well, I don't want those to cut out like that. If I attach them, they're going to cut right here. So I need to weld these. When I weld them, the three shapes become one shape, and it will not cut right here, okay? So those are um, two scenarios where you would use weld. Another would be if you had um, typed out the word hello and then typed out the word there. And um, let's just say that I have them touching. I'm not going to go through that right now. But um, if you wanted them to stay in this position, you can select them all and attach them. And let me just change the color here. 
should have done that first but and let's go to make it and if you attach it it's going to stay the way you have it on your mat okay on your design mat it's going to cut just like that but if I detach it and I go to make it it's going to spread the letters out and they're not going to be the way that you designed them on your canvas okay um but you can also select them and you can weld them but again you cannot undo it right and if you go to make it it's going to keep them where you have them designed on your mat um a lot of people say that they have to be touching to be able to weld them and they don't that's just one thing I wanted to clear up there. Um, so weld script fonts, um, weld more than one object to, I guess I should say two or more objects to make it one object, okay? Um, and I'm sure there's other scenarios where you would use weld, I just can't think of them right now. Like I said, I use Inkscape. Um, but I see a lot of people say attach, and like I said, you can't attach those and have them cut out as one piece like this. It's going to cut out each piece unless it's one layer in your layers panel over here on the right. Um, it's going to cut all three layers, like I showed you earlier. I had the circle and I had the two ovals. Um, and I attached them, it did not um, create one layer. They were still three layers and they will cut. And also, if you um, move these letters together and you do not weld them, where they connect, it's going to cut out of the following letter. Okay, that's why you need to weld them to make them one continuous piece rather than, um, you know, just attaching them because attaching them is going to cut out each single letter. It's not going to cut out one continuous piece. I hope this makes more sense. Um, I tried to explain it in my um, beginner's video, but I still see a lot of people um, not understanding it. So maybe this will help. Thanks for watching.